When we first got into uh, starting off planning for cancer, we thought we'd be able to treat every child we, we came across because you know, nowadays treatment is, is available, it's possible. The reason we do these climbs is to be able to support these patients uh, who are suffering from cancer and to be able to raise awareness and treatment costs for them. But when you lose a child, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot harder than when you'd first expect. It's something that um, you wouldn't think would happen to, to a three-year-old or to a two-year-old, someone so young, passing from something so serious at a very young age. Two years into Climb for Cancer, it did strike home. A young cousin of mine, three years old, her name was Laila Sudi, was diagnosed with DIPG brain cancer. Um, and we dedicated our climb to Mount Elbrus, which is the highest peak in Europe, um, in, in honor of Laila and in her memory, and to be able to raise funds for DIPG brain cancer. It's not about getting scared. Um, I think it's more about knowing how well you're prepared. When I hear the term my land, it's definitely, it's been a place where I found myself. It's been a place where I've been able to, to establish myself a lot in the past 10 years. And I feel it's, a, it's the least I can do to be able to give back to the community and to give back to the land which I call home, which is my land, which is the United Arab Emirates. And I think giving up some of our free time to be able to support people in need is, is a moral obligation to each one of us.